Hey everybody, Drew here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to reset any warning light on the dash of a 2004 to 2009 Prius. And before we jump in, I just have to say this channel is all about teaching you guys how to actually fix cars. Turning off a check engine light or an airbag light or a brake warning light or your red triangle or whatever, just turning that off does not fix the issue. So this is only for people that have caused themselves a warning light by doing something like perhaps um, you just changed fuel injectors and you misfired during the process and now you have a check engine light on or you ran out of gas and your you know red triangles on or anything like that if there's if there's an issue that you don't know about this is not going to solve it if you cause the light to come on doing some maintenance or whatever this will solve it without a scanner so first step is to take your trunk mat out move that out of the way take out your um, trunk floor and then the bin that's underneath just lift that out like this and you've got this guy right here. Just lift that out. And this is the positive battery terminal setup here. So if you look, there's this little tab. You're gonna push on that, and then there's one on this side too. Push on that if you can. It's tough to do with one hand. Get that out of the way. Now, there is this guy here, which you can see the tab on the top. You just go ahead and squeeze that tab. Again, it's right on the top. I'm hitting it with my thumbnail. Squeeze the tab. And this should, let me see here, there, that unplugs. Now this one has to come out, but the tab is underneath, if you see it there. So just grab that. It's kind of hard to pull out, especially in my case with one hand. But there you go. So now you've disconnected the positive battery terminal from the car and any warning lights that you have caused in, you know, maintenance or whatever else. Uh, will be gone. But again, I have to say this channel is about fixing cars. If you have a check engine light, you just unplug your battery and plug it back in. You didn't fix the problem, so it's going to come back. And this is not a way to cheat on like a New York State inspection or a California inspection or any state that checks to make sure your car is running right. Because once you reset your battery like this, all of the monitors in the car, um, like your, your catalytic converter monitor, your oxygen sensor monitor, all the systems that run a check to make sure they're working properly are now considered incomplete and have to prove to the car over a certain uh, series of criteria and mileage that they work. Um, those are all incomplete in any state that looks uh, would fail you right now. So um, this isn't a way to fix your car. This isn't a way to cheat your state inspection. It's just a way to reset a warning light that you've caused. So of course, when you're done, you just go ahead and push this in and make sure you hear a nice loud click. And then this guy here, same thing, just a nice click. Okay. And then everything goes back together the way that it came apart. This here just kind of goes over the top and clicks on. I can get it one-handed. There we go. So make sure that's back on so nothing shorts out if something falls in there or whatever. And then this guy, of course, just goes in here and, you know, you get the rest. So anyways, I'm Drew. Hopefully this video is helpful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up. And, um, you know, if you're into Priuses and fixing cars, uh, we do everything here. A lot of Prius videos. We also import cars from Japan, cool right-hand drive cars, stuff like that. So if this is the channel for you, go ahead and subscribe and uh, take care. God bless. Thank you.